What's up, you guys? Steven here for Off the Shelf Movie, and I just talked to you about physical media, about Blu-rays, 4Ks, and even DVDs. However, you like to buy and own the movies and TV shows that you love on a piece of physical media so that you can display it in either a beautiful or somewhat messy, if you're reorganizing, library and have them at your disposal when and where you want. If you're a physical media collector, you want to be a physical media collector, or you just like talking about movies, you're in a good spot because that's what we do here, and this channel is all about that conversation. So I have what I think today is the biggest box set release of the year on physical media. I might be surprised. Scream Factory might have something in store around Halloween time. I don't know. But as of now, this is the most epic release of the year. And it's very light because in full disclosure, I did this video once and I had an audio issue. So this has already been opened. So sad. You don't get to see me cut the box. But hey it's out. That means we can get right to it much quicker. I, you've probably seen this unboxed already, but I got it. I think it really is the most impressive release of the year, so I'm definitely going to do my two cents in opening it up and talking about it. So let's uh, do it justice. Let me put the slipcover on. This is officially the biggest slipcover in my collection, by the way. So what we're talking about is from Arrow Video, and it is enter the video store look at this box you guys so cool vhs rentals and then i'll give you a look at the back so you can see a read-up on all the movies if you want to pause and take a look and then uh in a brilliant piece of design all the movies are listed here on top why is it brilliant because this is a big box set, and if you have limited space like many of us collectors do putting the box on the shelf like this it's going to take up a lot of space but we want this artwork. So alternately, you could put them on the shelf like this, and that would be great. You can pull them off, still have the art to look at. Very thoughtful design here from Arrow Video. So a few years ago, Arrow Video, when I first got into Arrow Video, I thought they were the best physical media boutique distributor out there. And I still think they're top tier for sure. But after their were purchased, or a majority of them was purchased by Zavi, and they did away with the Arrow Academy line. I, I feel like they kind of fell behind the curve just a little bit behind companies like Second Sight. Criterion is always top tier. They've been able to maintain their spot. But I just, you know, as I'm recording this, they recently made a big deal about the release of Black Hat to 4K, and that's it's a good director, but not a good movie. We know this. So it just kind of felt like they were slipping a little bit. This proves that they still belong at the top of the mountain. This is old school Arrow right here. This is what Arrow was doing when I first got into Arrow. They would do, you know, a grindhouse movie like The Hills Have Eyes or, or Last House on the Left because they're Wes Craven. So they were both grindhouse movies and, you know, top tier directors. But then they would follow with a bunch of smaller stuff like Society, for example. That's what we have here. So, Enter the Video Store is a collection of movies from a company called Empire International Pictures. And that company was started by Charles Band, who we know as the head of Full Moon Features. If I'm being completely honest, Empire International is a better company, was a better company, than Full Moon Features. I know there's there's some movies from Full Moon that people really cherish, and, and they're cult classics, and I don't take away from that. But I feel like... This was more, this, this company tried to be more cinematic than Full Moon. Full Moon is, is about churning them out, you know, doing crazy stuff that people enjoy watching, but it just, it feels cheaper. They really tried to do stuff here. Uh, Heath over at Serial at Midnight calls them the second tier version of Canon Films, and I totally get where he's coming from with that comparison. Because Canon Films always kind of wanted to be Paramount. They weren't going to be, they didn't have the money to be, and their scripts were nowhere near as good. But they tried really hard. And I feel like Empire International is trying really hard to be canon. So these movies had more ambition than anything Full Moon does. And that ultimately is probably what destroyed the company. They just weren't making the money. The ROI, for example, the return on investment was not there. These were direct-to-video movies. They did well in the video stores because they brilliantly, they took the, the Lloyd Kaufman approach. They had wonderful marketing. Their packaging was really um, top tier. It really got people's attention. 
the cool artwork. I can remember that as a kid. You know, you would go into a video store and the top three rows of shelves would all be the big releases. But the bottom two would be stuff from, like, these guys. I hope this is the start of, of a series. I hope they pick some other companies and do this kind of collection as well. But anyway, enough bullshitting. Let's get into it. Again, biggest slip cover in my collection. So we pop that off, and it's essentially the same on the inside, but we get the artwork all the way around. Even so, we've got a video store design here. We've got the dumpster in the back. Very cute artwork. Even if you look at the top, it looks like the top of the building with the air conditioner and all that stuff. So cool, you guys. I wonder why they chose purple. I don't know that. If it's related to the company, let me know. If Empire's color was purple or something, I don't know. But anyway, that's the color they went with. I think this is so cool. Now, putting it in the on the shelf like this doesn't work without the slipcover. So, don't throw away the slipcover. So, but it does on the bottom. There it is. It's on the bottom. The names are on the bottom. So, we, we, can, we can drop them in like this. But that slipcover is cool, and it just keeps the top on. All right. So, let's get into it. Popping the top off there. And here are the movies on the inside. They even package them in release order, you guys. So let's dive in here real quick. I love this book. It's a very thick, perfect bound book. Arrow, for me, kind of became known as the company with the perfect bound book. Other companies have started to do it too, but they were the first distributor that I was aware of that had perfect bound books. But this is super cool. So this is Arrow Magazine, and this is riffing to me on Rue Morgue. I don't know if Rue Morgue is still printed. Let me know if it's still printed. But Rue Morgue is kind of like the cinephiles version of Fangoria. The um, articles, the features were much deeper into movie making than just sort of the the glossy marketing stuff that Fangoria tends to cover, which is, is still fun, don't get me wrong. But these, again, were more cinema, this was the Cinema Fans magazine, Rue Morgue. And it was also perfect bound like this, had covers like this, the same kind of paper, very high-end artwork, that kind of thing. So th that is absolutely what this is riffing on. You know, those magazines that came out in that era, there were others. Uh, Cinemania also was a pretty good magazine, but I always think of magazines like Rue Morgue. On the back, there is a, it looks like an ad for the movies, but obviously this is the movies that are in the package. And there's a ton of essays in here with amazing artwork. I love this behind-the-scenes stuff of, of things being built. Can't wait to dig into this, but very carefully because I want to keep this book nice. All right, let's get into the movies really quickly. I think I'm very certain that I've seen one of these. I know I've seen one, and I think I've seen another, but the others are completely new to me. First up, we have... It'd be nice if I, I went the right direction, you guys. So first up, we have Dungeon Master. I think this is an anthology. I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, I'm coming to these cold. There's the read-up. And then we go inside. We've got disc art. And then we have reversible artwork, too. I'm going to have to think about these and decide which ones I want to flip the artwork for. I don't know yet. The artwork is really cool. Each release also has its own art cards and poster. This one has the Arrow Video membership card here. For your video store, obviously. This is just cute. Inside, as I said, there's a poster. I'm not going to unfold it because you've seen the artwork. It's the two sides of the of the of the label, the cover. And then we have some some art cards. I always say this, and I'll keep saying it till someone listens. If you're going to do these art cards, I wish they were more than just screen captures. I would like these to be the international posters. That would be amazing. Why no one's jumped on that, I don't know. Because that's just such a brilliant thing. I love to look at posters. I, I would like to see the posters they release in, in other countries, you know? It's just fun. Some of the books have those, and I love it. Like the house, the two stories set that I have, the hardback book that's in there has some sequen some sequences, some pages of the international posters. All right, that's Dungeon Master. Haven't seen it. Can't wait to get into it. Next up, we have dolls so this movie i've seen the artwork not this one i've seen the original artwork for it but i've never seen the movie i think this movie has been released before maybe maybe arrow put this out before i don't know let me know in the comments if you know so let me pop off the disc so you can see 
there's the artwork that I know. Very interested to watch this one because, like I said, um, I've seen the art but not seen the movie. Oh, I should show you the art cards. Here's the art cards. Only three. Okay. Moving on. Next up, we have Cellar Dweller. This name seems familiar, but it also seems like a name that people would, you know, knock off. So I don't know if I've even seen this or heard of it. This looks like a creature feature, though, and it looks like a, uh, a dude in a suit. I'm not big on creature features, but if you're going to do one, make it with a guy in a suit. I think that's hilarious. There's that. And again, we have a poster. Did not want to come out. And there are three art cards I'll show you. There we go. Very interested in this one. I'm, I'm very interested in all of them, you guys. But I'm really having not a lot to say. I'm just excited for this set. I think it's beautifully done. And i got a box of movies here that I only know two of the movies. And I only know that I've seen, for sure, one of them. I think I've seen two, though, two of them, though. But it was it's so long ago that I've seen them that I'm going to be looking at them with fairly fresh eyes. This one, Arena. So I don't remember this movie, but I do remember the artwork. So I think I saw this probably as a kid, maybe from a video store. And I'll show you. There's the inside. This artwork here is what I remember. Yes. That artwork I know. So I've probably seen this one. It'll probably come back to me while I'm watching it. But I love kind of like cheesy sci-fi and like dystopian type of stuff. So I'm here for this one. Very excited. Here's your art cards. Again, let me know if you've seen any of these. Let's talk about it. I was going to watch them in order, but I think I might just watch what I want to see. So if you've got this box set and you've seen the movies, which one should I watch first? Because I'm going to do a deep dive. I'm going to watch each of these movies. I'm going to review them, and I'm going to do a bonus features breakdown on them. I don't do that too often with box sets because I like to kind of just leisurely soak them in. But I'm going to be eating this box set up. I'm excited for this. So we're going to do that. If you want to do it along with me and be able to have a conversation about it, let me know. Let me know in the comments. And the last one, I've definitely seen this. But again, I was a little kid. Probably rented it. Robot Jocks. This is the movie, I think, that put Empire International Pictures out of business. This is a high-budgeted movie for them. Um, Stop-motion animation, you know, practical special effects, of course. I think this is the one that did them in. So I'm, I'm very tempted to start this one first because I, I believe Heath mentions that there's a bonus feature on here talking about the end of Empire Pictures. So it might be kind of neat to have that background going in. Let me know. Here's the art cards. Very fun looking movie. Interesting about something though. Um, I notice, let me check one of the other boxes to see. Yeah, these boxes are interesting. I wonder if they're like repurposed because they have these, these hooks in here for another like spindle, but there's no other spindle and the these, they have it, so I don't know what the purpose of that is. Let me know, if you know. So that's the movies, you guys. I'm excited for this, and I hope that this is the start of a running series for Arrow Video. I hope they do these box sets for other companies that did direct-to-video movies, because honestly, a lot of them are schlock, a lot of them are not good, but there's some real gems from all of these companies. Robot Jocks is a fun little movie, and I bet you some of these other movies that I'm about to watch are going to be fun too. They're low budget, so you've got to get your mind in the right spot for that. That's just how it's going to be. But the the passion for movie making and trying to do a lot with a little and that kind of thing all really appeals to my heart as a filmmaker, as a creative myself. So I hope that they're going to do a lot more of these. So let's drop them back in the box, and uh, we'll take one last look at them. I gotta sort them. I got them all out of order here, though. I gotta. I like that they package them in release order, so I'm gonna do that too. I'm gonna try my best to keep them that way because I think that's great. 
it's just a little extra detail here. Now, for someone who, who knows a whole lot more about these movies, I'm going to tell you, I'm coming to them cold. I, I, I Like I said, I think I've seen two of them, but I was a little kid, so I have no frame of reference. I'm coming as a new fan. Uh, I would recommend taking a look at Serial at Midnight. Look at uh, what Heath does over there. He really digs into these more. He knows these movies better than I do. If you want to know more about them. Otherwise, join me on the viewing party. Let's watch them together and talk about them. If you want to do that, hit me in the comments and we'll plan it. So there's a set. Beautiful. And you guys, this set right now is $70, I think. $70. But these are premium releases. They're full of extras, new scans. These would easily be $25 bucks a piece. At, at a minimum, $20 a piece. So this would easily be $100 worth of movies, plus the packaging, the book, everything. You're probably talking about $125 set, going for $70. This is a great deal. I ordered mine from Grindhouse Video. You can get it from Diabolic. You can even get this from Amazon. But Amazon is not shipping for quite a while. I, I looked at the Amazon pre-order, and it's not shipping till August. You could have this today. You could have it shipped today, depending on what time of day you're watching this video and when you order. But... It shipped very quick from Grindhouse Video, and I think it's important for us as physical media collectors to support these physical media retailers. Grindhouse Video, Orbit DVD, um, Diabolic, because while Walmart and Best Buy do still have physical media, they don't support anything below the top line films. Walmart does do the direct-to-DVD horror stuff, but it's because they invest in those movies. Um, if you want to get deep into movies like this, then we've got to support the retailers that are still making those available. So go to Grindhouse Video. You can order it. Like I said, they'll ship it like the next day at the latest. I ordered this over the weekend. They shipped it right away yesterday, I think, and I got it. Now, Grindhouse Video is in Knoxville, so it's going to come to me very quickly. But anyway, it's beautifully packaged. They know what they're doing over there. So let's support those guys. Anyway, it's enough bullshitting. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I hope you're getting the set. If you did, let me know what you think of it. If you've seen any of these movies, let me know what you think of them because we're about to start a hell of a journey going through the bottom shelf of the video store. Until next week, pull something cool off the shelf. Share it with your friends and family and remind them why physical media is the best way to watch films and TV at home. I'll see you guys on the next one.